friends, it's Nancy, and we are back to do another project for the hashtag big book of ideas. Um, so I, in my Pinterest feed this morning, you know, when it sends you a little update saying, hey, this looks like something you'll like, uh, there was a link to a Rita Jensen video. I'm wondering if it's how old it is. I'll just click back and see. This is what people don't understand. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, mister. It says it was a year ago. And it's had 18,000 <laughs> views. So, uh, you've probably seen this one. Um, so, she's taken window en envelopes to make clusters. And I just followed along. And then you would, you know, put it on the side of a page and tuck something in or um yeah so I've got a whole bunch of stuff pulled out uh and let's give it a shot so she showed using paper tissue napkin all kinds of different stuff so I've got um I need to use one of these these envelopes um Because it's they're a little more squatty, so let's just give this a random cut. And I just take a teeny tiny little whisker. It's actually Saturday morning as I record this. Um, <clears throat> I'm cut off the part that says Canada Revenue Agency. And it's early. So Doug might smell coffee at any time and <laughs> Maybe I'll leave this edge a little wider. All right. So this one I used strips of napkin. Um, I found this in a box of stuff and it's somebody's handwritten uh, a I think it's a poem. So let's see if we can tear a bit there. Perfect. And I'm just going to glue that down. So once I get this video done and dusted, I am going to head out to a church rummage sale that Doug told me about. Uh, see if I can find any goodies.
cut that up, or I could wrap it around, I suppose. Get that edge a little, a little more strength, I suppose. Um, Just need a narrow strip for that top. Two more little pieces. Can tear some of this white off. have to wake Doug up and make him go with me and carry the bags. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just going to, some of this paper that's overlapping the window, I'm just going to carefully pull it back and try not to make any marks on my window. And this will just kind of give this a, some texture. This one's kind of down. So I guess I can't do too much with that. Mm, oh well. Give this a little bit of ink. Do I want rounded corners? Yes, I do. That's not a, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Now 
Yeah. He, he's got a gig this afternoon in Fergus, and he's taking my car because his is in the shop. I have no idea what's wrong with it, but it's a pain. Okay, now... I have, ooh, I was going to say I have a ton of stuff here, but I'm going to grab my Edith Holden stuff. If I can find it. Edith is always great. If I can open the box. Oh, this one's a daisy. So these are things that are partial. Oh, there's another daisy. Partially uh, fussy cut. Do we have a butterfly? We do. We have a moth. All right. I'm going to cut this off. Now, what if I put a little bit of lace there? Or, I've got a little bit of cheesecloth. piece of netting here too. Let's do some cheesecloth that's been tea dyed. And this is the, the really gauzy, cheapy stuff with one of my gray hairs. Some netting. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that actually. Um, okay, let's ink up some shapes. This one looks like I've already inked it. Maybe I wanted it for some other purpose. And then just decided, no. That's just the way it goes. Next Saturday, the town wides start. And probably already mentioned this. I want to take that tiny window out. And don't do what I'm doing. You should always use your exacto on a glass mat.
Yeah, it's a, a big to-do at the church, I guess. I um, I don't know what church it's at. Doug just told me about it, and I'll figure it out later. Um, but they're having a pancake breakfast for the scouts. They're having to raise money for the scouts. They're the gar the Girl Scouts Girl Guides are there selling cookies, and uh, the church is having a rummage sale to raise money for their missions. And I forgot my butterfly. Love this. I think this one might be going in the book. I like this one. glue. All right. I like that a lot. Um, okay. Put you there to dry. Close the ink my pen back in my glue and let's try another one this one's a longy one oh let's make Make it a full six. Why not? Sorry, I was thinking. It takes a lot out of me. What I was wondering is, I'm just going to draw a line. Um, with a pencil. scissors to cut up into that corner. And then I can save these. Uh, I'll, I'll just make a little, I'll use these flippy flappies to, um, looking for the flippy flappy for gluing to a page and that way there's space to tuck something inside 
you know what I mean, don't you? So this would get flapped down, flapped down, and then the glue adhered on those two edges. And then easily tuck something behind there, right? Okay, um, tissue. Whoops. Isn't she cute? I have I have all kinds of stuff pulled out here. <laughs> all right. as well tear all the pieces at once and if you're wondering why why are you doing it like that Nancy well because the edges I cut with my deckle edged trimmer and I want the deckle edge towards the window if that makes any sense Yeah, I had cut that square out of um, gotta make sure I got the right side up. For, I cut it out with the uh, deckle edge with for a different project and um, these that was a leftover. I was covering up book page. And this time I won't wait to pull back. I got some washi tape in, uh, from Amazon the other day. I was almost out of washi tape and of course I'm working on those they're really old books and I wanted to make sure the um, the folds weren't going to cause me problems. So I had to order washi tape. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I'm thinking, what if I use washi tape to cover... Ooh, I just had another thought. Rub ons on top of the tissue. Um, I always hold my arms up. 
wonder why my back aches. <laughs> teeny tiny bit of glue on that edge. Just like that. Oh, I just had another idea. <laughs> All right. A little bit of ink. How are we going to decorate you? I have, I have some little Victorian sorts of things. I have birds. I have little antiques. I have flowers, of course. I don't want a bird. I pulled this out for the other one. Ooh, that's pretty. This one's pretty. I do like that. Um, I think I wouldn't mind having a little more of this stuff. Looks like there's two layers here. There is. I'm 
That's going to be better. just cut from a book. I wouldn't mind a word. What kind of a word? A little more schmoopy. Let's grab my words. Oh, no. I was thinking I would grab a Tim Holtz word, but. Masterpiece of nature. No. Maybe. Let's tear it up, see what happens. Try to get some more of this green out of there. Let's grunge it up. Hmm. 
I'll look at it through my camera. I think I'll put it on the bottom. All right, um, let's put it in the book. I've got a few more envelopes I can do. You know what that needs? I need something more. Um, I'm just looking over at my stuff here. Ooh. What do you think? Do we like that? Or Let's do both. So I just did this little bit here. Um, so the 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 whole phrase, <laughs> poem, sentiment. Um, okay. Now I'm happier. Just thinking about rounding those corners. Don't think I will, though. Um, glue. And now it's coming. 
on there with me. Now I need to bring my little note here if I can find a pencil. Oh, oh. Uh, window envelope cluster as inspired by Rita Jensen. Just making sure I'm spelling right. In our neck of the woods, there's lots of Jensen's and Jensen's with Z's and T's and uh, the big, um, yeah, a lot of Mennonites here with the name Jensen. Um, on YouTube. And I forgot to put me. Twenty twenty four. So the idea is I just tuck something up under there. Oh, I do like you. So I the other idea I had was laying over some lace and then trimming out a little bit of the hole. I'm going to try that. Um, shall we do that together? Let me go get some lace. Okay, I'm back. Let's bring it in a bit. Okay. So just to strengthen this, I'm using some scraps of the envelope. To reinforce the edge. Um, I'm just concerned about the weight of the lace. I've got to make sure I don't cover up any part of the window. up somewhere. I was thinking I was taking off plenty. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I've already inked around the edges. I do need to take some of this off. 
because it's showing. There, that's better. And I think I'm going to have the window going, or not the window, but the cluster going this way. <laughs> All right. Um, I have this piece of lace. Are you upside down? You are upside down. Silly thing. Um, I want to do a little ink around the window itself. Just adding a little bit of Fabri-Tac at the top here and the edge. So just covering that. my rotary cutter to cut off that little exquisite bit. Gorgeous. I'm going to leave this edge along the top. That There's nothing wrong with that. cut away some of the lace and some of it I'm going to keep. being really quiet because I this 
just want to carefully choose Gotta be careful not to poke a hole through the window with the tips of my scissors, too. I feel like this needs something metal on it. or bling. Okay. Just gonna take a little out of the top because it looks really messy. So I'm just going to take a little pin I'm gonna have to put something down there. Okay. Come here, pin. I'm just gonna lift up the lace with a little glue underneath. Gave it too much of a squeeze.
What if I take that right off? Or add this flower. Well, I saw this in my inbox this morning. <laughs> Such a great project. And I love a project where you can just grab stuff that you have on your desk. This lace was actually on my ironing board. This is some of the lace that I got um, in that box of antique lace that I practically stole two weeks ago was it I don't I think that was a once in a lifetime kind of thing I don't think I will ever find anything like that ever again um, but I will be bundling up some laces uh, there's still a few um, in my Etsy shop right now. Um, a couple of them you might not have seen because I didn't, I accidentally missed a couple, so they got listed later. Um, you see how this thread is hanging off? I'm gonna have to glue that down so that it goes around the petal. What do we think? Yes, that's what it needs. Oh, you are beautiful. Now. I'm going to fuss a bit more cutting out these threads. The little netting. What do I need? What would you put on here? Now I feel like I would want to add that. Hmm. 
Why not? Just wondering what I've got that I can add to this. It's like maybe I'll find something at the rummage sale. Hmm? A little stick pin or something, maybe? I'm going to do it like that. Or that. What do you think of that? I think so too. I do need to take a little bit of net out of here. You are beautiful. Okay. Uh, this is what it would look like on a page. Like that. Or... Or like that. Where did this come from? All right, now we're done. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have been having a great, great, great creative weekend. And uh, maybe you've got some window envelopes in your stash there that you'd like to give this a try. Um, so thanks so much for joining me. Come on back soon and we will do another uh, hashtag, the Big Book of Ideas Project. Take care. Mm -hmm.